A report by a gold mine in central West NSW has confirmed that lead matching ore was found in the rainwater tanks of Orange District residents. Key points A new report by the Cadia gold mine contradicts previous mine notifications on lead. Contamination The human health risk assessment was commissioned by Newcrest's Cadia Valley. Operations as part of a set of regulatory requirements after the mine was found to be non-compliant by the NSW Environmental Protection Authority. Residents living in the mining area have been reporting dust incidents since 2018. When a dam holding mine waste, called tailings, failed, HHRA has determined that point-of-use water, such as a kitchen faucet or tank tap, is the greatest risk factor for heavy metal exposure and recommends that tank maintenance and monitoring be commanded. The report, made public on September 1, concludes that the potential risks to human health from emissions from CVO are low and acceptable. An aerial photo shows the collapse of the wall at Cadia's northern landfill. Matches leader Cadia The report summarizes independent studies commissioned by the mine to estimate community exposure to date, including a tailings dust study by the University of South Australia, microparticle casting and a lead fingerprint study. Lead fingerprinting allows the lead to be traced back to its source using isotopic signatures. Under the lead fingerprint section, the report notes that lead matching Cadia's isotope signature was found in 40% of tank sludge. Samples collected by Newcrest Newcrest's press release July claim that Cadia could not be linked to the lead found in water tanks the area. The information presented in report is correct based on information available at time report was completed. Report's author said in a statement. Newcrest did not comment on why the HHRA report contained information that conflicted with the company's previous communication. The findings of human health risk assessment conducted by Sage Environmental indicate that Cadia operates within established health standards and the potential emissions risk to human health is low, statement said. Jem Green, head of Cadia Community Sustainability Network said the changing messages had shaken communities trust the process with Newcrest and Cadia in last few months has completely destroyed the relationship with community, said Ms Green, twice the state average using national health data from Australian Bureau Statistics. Assessment created a picture of health Blaney and orange areas next to mine and compared them to wider region. He did this to accurately assess the potential impact of CVO operations on the population. Statistics showed premature respiratory death rates in Orange area were twice the state average and close to double rates in Blaney. Childhood asthma rates were also high. Dust clouds sometimes cover parts of the area near the Cadia gold mine. Ms. Green said regulators were not doing enough. We have oh.